Good evening, everybody. My name is Ken Whitaker. I'm the executive director of Michigan People's Campaign. We're a statewide organization that's developing a multiracial democracy that truly represents the residents of Michigan and building a base of people that are always ready to take action at any given moment on the issues that are directly impacting their lives. You know, Billy and Jamila said it in 2023, we have the power to push through a, a transformative agenda. But we owe that to having a democratic trifecta in the state for the first time in 40 years, whereas, as Jamila said, the first time ever, really, because the last one was just one year. But let's be real. It was the issues that brought people out to vote in droves, not the candidates. People saw their lives reflected on the ballot and they were compelled to vote. We politicized people on issues like reproductive freedom for all, the campaign that my wife ran, term limit reform. That was another ballot initiative, including expanding access to the ballot. But by leading, leading with ballot proposals, training and equipping our Canvas teams with the resources and support they needed, and strategically targeting our geographic and demographic universes, we made the difference in key races and flipped districts. Our Canvas team wasn't just large, it was highly impactful. For comparison, the Michigan Democratic Party canvassed 290,000 voters but with the staff of 122 people and a $14 million budget. We canvassed a little more than 208,000 voters, but with less than half of the staff and a fraction of the budget. That is the power of grassroots organizing and leadership development. We've launched a permanent issue-based canvas. We're going to build our base, develop leaders and leadership and connect voters, connect with voters right now. The issues voters care about, they don't disappear in December and neither, neither should we. Now is the time to capitalize on all of our wins. So we're launching an organizing revival this year to connect with voters where they are on the issues that they care about year round, not just during elections and working to push an aggressive legislative agenda with implications for 2024 and beyond. You know, speaking of developing leaders and leadership, our Movement Politics Academy has trained dozens of people to run for office or run campaigns. State Representative Lori Pahutsky, State Representative Abraham Ayash are just two of them. These are organizers at heart, and now they're organizing in the state legislature. They're organizing legislators around the issues that they ran on, around the issues that they learned to build movements on because they made their campaigns about the issues and building a movement instead of about themselves. And now with the Democratic majority, Lori Pahutsky is the speaker pro tem and Abraham Ayash is the majority floor leader. That's what building power looks like. This needs to be repeated over and over again in every state in this country if we're gonna win on our issues. Now we've built a 2023 legislative priority list around the issues that are greatly affecting the citizens of Michigan. And we didn't choose them, the citizens did workers' rights, immigrant rights, environmental justice, and gun violence. You just heard about the shooting at Michigan State University. Well, we've been working for a year and a half to put together a ballot proposal for universal background checks, safe storage, and extreme risk protection orders. But because of this democratic trifecta, now we're able to pivot to a legislative campaign. We've just told Democrats in our lobby meetings that we've said for years that this was a Republican problem. Well, if things don't get passed right now, it becomes a Democrat problem and we have the base to hold them accountable to do it. This could have been prevented what happened at Michigan State with an extreme risk protection order. There were signs, there were flags, but there was no process to wave that flag. Education elections, infrastructure, and civil rights, the criminal legal system. It rounds out our list of legislative opportunities. And we call them opportunities, not just priorities, because this is an opportunity for people to get the wins that really improve their lives. We politicize people on these issues, and this is how we keep them engaged year round. But even with the trifecta, it's a hard fight ahead. And Billy put in the chat that we really got to move Governor Whitmer and the, and, and the legislators. And he's right, because people have aspirations for the next office and the next office. So we need legislators to know that we have the will and the power to hold them accountable. 
And there are several benchmarks that we need to organize around leading into 24. Debbie Stabenow is retiring. Jamila said that. And we need to make sure that the person that fills her seat is a champion on all of our issues. There's only 100 senators in this country, and we need to make sure that the two coming from Michigan are voting the way they need to vote for the residents of this state. This is a purple state. We might have a trifecta. We might have gone for Biden, but this is a purple state at heart. Not because it's a mix of blue and red. It's purple because we've been beat black and blue. Two of our Democratic representatives in the state house are running for mayor. So we're going to be losing our Democratic majority for a few months until we throw down in special elections to get it back. So we have got to hold our corporate Dems accountable and hold the line. We also need to organize for the 2024 primaries, especially now that Michigan is fifth in line. The 2024 primary will be a trial run to get ready for the 2028 open primary. God forbid we don't have an open primary. Uh, well, God willing, we don't have an open primary in 24, but who knows? Um, but we're going to use what we learn to flex and test our power to defend this Democratic trifecta, bolster our congressional delegation, and keep Michigan blue. This is a historic moment for Michigan. And with your continued support, we can turn Michigan into a national model for successful progressive organizing that delivers win after win after win. And we know that when we organize around the issues and build strong connections in our communities year round, we win and we win big. We've proven it. It is crucial that we invest in our people to do this work, not just in the months before election day, but each and every day. Thank you for having me today.